All right, good afternoon and welcome to My S Focus 8 to 10 Experiences. My name is Terry and I'm from the United States, from Seattle. Uh, Seattle is famous for Grey's Anatomy, grunge music, Nirvana, and my personal favorite, Kurt Cobain. Um, how about you? Would you introduce yourself? This is my co-teacher. Yes, hello, my name is Oscar. I am from England. I'm from a town on the south coast of England called Hastings. Hastings is famous, not in Italy, but it is famous in England for the Battle of Hastings. In 1066, so a long time ago, the French invaded England and at the Battle of Hastings, they won and they conquered England, um, which hopefully made learning English a little bit easier because they took a lot of French, Latin words, etc. So uh, that yeah. might, so, if I can say that might be the only French battle, uh, the only French victory in history. Well, don't forget Napoleon. <laughs> well, OK, there was him. All right. So we've got <laughs> students with us. Welcome, Erica from Turin, Davide from Milan. Welcome. All right, so we're going to be talking about experiences today. So let's dive in. If you have comments or questions, also to help us answer questions, uh, just type a quick note in the chat so that you know there is a short time lag from when you write the question and when we receive it. So if we don't respond right away, it's just because there's a little bit of time that passes from the time you send until it arrives. So Titi, Tiziana from Milan, welcome. Okay, so experiences. Oscar, could I, could I impose on you to read, please? You may. In this focus activity, revision of present perfect using present perfect questions Talking about experiences. Experiences. We're going to be talking a lot about experiences today. All right. Tenses. I've been to the USA five times. I've never driven a Ferrari, but I'd like to one day. Oh, that's me too. I've sailed all over the world. What is the question? So if these are the answers, what is the question we use to talk about or to ask about experiences? What, what tense is this and what question would we okay. use? So we'll ask the students, what tense is this and what question? Um, Terry. Yes. Have you been Oscar. to the US five times? Mm. I've been to the US four times since I moved to Italy, but I'm from the US. So, Oscar, have you ever driven a Ferrari? Uh, no, I have never driven a Ferrari. I have driven a Citroen, a Fiat, a Ford car. <laughs> <laughs> I've driven the very, very cheap rental cars. I've never driven a Ferrari. And I don't think anyone's going to let me soon. Um, <laughs> Robbie, right. well, very well done, Robbie. Have you ever? Very good. Exactly. Good. Have you ever been? Have you ever done? These are perfect. In fact, they are present perfect. They are present perfect tense questions. And the question is created with that ever to include from the beginning of your life to and including the present moment. So we use the present perfect it's our way to talk about all of our past experiences, including the present moment. Really great. 
Um, David. David. Is David. <laughs> uh, the one that's 15 euros a day to rent. I can't remember exactly which one, but um, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really driving in style. Uh, if you have a Fiat, <laughs> I'm sure it's very nice, David. Day. All right. So, have okay. you ever? Uh, plus the past participle. Can you think of a question, Oscar, using that structure? Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten monkey brains? No, I have never <laughs> eaten monkey brains. You know, so these are closed questions. Have you ever eaten monkey brains? Yes, no. We can also use this structure to ask open questions. For example, Oscar, what is the strangest food you have ever eaten? Hmm. I think the strangest food I have ever eaten is guinea pig. <laughs> I felt bad saying that, but yeah, in Ecuador, Peru, yeah, they eat guinea pig. Yeah. And they raise them in the kitchen like pets. You know, they, they're like little pets. And then <laughs> one day they just eat them. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, Terry, it, it was not very tasty. <laughs> I imagine not. So if any of you do not know what a guinea pig is, so we have mice, right? Topi. It's not a topo. Um, so a mouse topo. And then if you think about the domesticated fuzzy, they're called hamster. Hamster. A guinea pig is like a big hamster. Why would you eat that? All right. Why would you try anything new, Terry? I don't try know. new experiences. Isn't I know. Isn't it? I've eaten some. I've eaten some strange things myself. So, okay. what is the strangest thing you have ever eaten, Terry? Uh, I have eaten. It might not seem strange to some, but I have eaten fresh goat that was literally slaughtered in the tree right in front of me and cooked on an open pit. Mm. For me, for me, that was really strange. Yeah. Did you still enjoy the food? It was amazing. <laughs> okay. It was so delicious. I felt really bad for the goat and the puddle of blood was kind of I mean, disgusting. Uh, anyway, on to Huh? Davide says, yes, like Hamtaro. I don't know what Hamtaro is. Hamtaro. I don't know what mm. that is either, Davide. I might Google it quickly. I don't know. But let's continue with this talk about tenses, shall we? All right. So if we begin, <laughs> if I just want to change the subject, I'm picturing the whole thing again. Okay, so if we use the present perfect, have you ever been to the USA? Yes, I've been to the USA five times. What tense often follows the present perfect and why? What tense, so two questions here for all of you. What tense follows the present perfect, and why? It's a cartoon. It's Hamtaro is, is a cartoon guinea pig, Terry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, <laughs> which tense follows the present perfect, and why? Terry. Have you been to France? Ooh. Robbie, 
Robbie got the answer. Past simple. Yes, I have been to France. Excellent, Veronica. Present simple is correct. All right. So, yes, Oscar, I have been to France. Oh, when did you go to France? Ah, I went to France in November of 2014. Okay. Exactly. So present perfect to talk about all of the similar experiences going to the United States five times. Have you ever been to France? Have you had this experience? Present simple follows to describe a specific experience. So remember with present simple, we have two rules. First, the action is finished. Second, the time is finished. Okay. So yes, I went to France in November of 2014. Oscar, have you ever, have you ever visited the United States? Yes, I have visited the United States. When I did visited you yeah, I visited three years ago uh, for two, three weeks. And where did you go? I went to Nevada and California, oh, to okay. Las Vegas, Los Angeles, San Francisco. So which was your favorite place? For, uh, yeah, Fran I think um, Francesco was my favorite, my favorite place. Uh, San Francisco is the best city in all of America. San Francisco was a really amazing city, and the the geography was amazing as well. I loved that. Um, that was a very, very good uh, road trip. Yeah, that was a definitely one of the best experiences of my life. I'd love to go back. Yep. You should. Everyone should go to San Francisco. The city mm, of all, all, we love. Yeah, all the Italians, they, they go to New York, it seems like. You guys love going to New York. It's a much shorter flight. And New York is... But New York and San Francisco both are very international cities. They both have a lot of big buildings, a lot of business. But San Francisco... And they both have a lot of parks, but San Francisco just has this different vibe, this different sensation. And it's got different districts that are all very particular. Robbie says, I've never been there. I've never been there too. Oscar, can you help me with that? There's just something that's a little bit, I've never yeah. been there. Uh, Terry, have you been to France? I have been to France. Have ah, I've been to France too. Ah, so two yeah. is when it's both of us a positive answer. Um, mm -hmm. Ah, Oscar, have you ever been to Australia? Mm, no, I've never been to Australia. Have you been to Australia? I haven't been there either. I haven't been there either or neither. Good, Veronica. So you can say <clears throat> me either or me neither. Ah, me neither. But two, always both in agreement. All right, good. So. As Oscar said before, we use that past simple to give specific details about a specific event or activity in the past. So I want all of you to help us get the right answers. So Oscar and I will read these different sentences and you have to choose the correct form of the present perfect whether it's a question. So, okay. Um, 
negative, a full English breakfast before, but I'd like to try one. Can you read number two, Oscar? Blank. In a private airplane? Question. Okay. <laughs> so just write number one and your answer. Number two and your answer. We're looking for your answers right now. Number three, mm, to London, but my sister, mm, there before. She lived in Notting Hill for six months in 2008. Okay. Um, David says, so the correct answer is, I've never been there either. Yeah, very good. Well done. Excellent. I haven't still been there is correct. Robbie, it's almost correct, but we just need that still before the haven't. I still haven't been there. Have you been there yet? No, I still have. No, I haven't been there yet. I still haven't been there. Both are okay. All right, so back to our questions here. Number four, Oscar? Mm -hmm. Yoga before. I took a class when I was in the Caribbean. Excellent. So Titi has given us the answer to number one. I have never eaten a full English breakfast before, but I'd like to try one. Good. You can say I have never or I've never. That contraction is just both are fine. Excellent, Veronica. Okay, so number five. I can't believe you, mm, the divine comedy. I read it when I was at university. At university. Mm, also, mm, poetry. Okay. Veronica responded to number two. What do you think, Oscar? Is it correct? Uh, let's see. Have you ever flown? Yeah, perfect. Have you ever flown in a private airplane? It is perfect. It's present perfect. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, English teacher humor, probably not very funny. Sorry. All right, so still looking for answers to three, four, and five. So, uh, Titi, almost remember that because we are talking about your entire life, we always include that ever. Have you ever flown? Okay, all right. So, Oscar, let's take a crack, you and I, at number three, shall we? It's mm -hmm. the first one is negative. So I haven't. You haven't been. Okay. So I'm just. Oh, looking. it's gone. Yeah. yeah. What's gone? No, no, sorry. Continue. Oh, no, I'm looking at Robbie's comment. You haven't never read. Now, remember that in Italian, we use this double negative, haven't never. But in English, a double negative, because never is a negative word, haven't never becomes haven't ever. Okay? So, no double negatives in English. So, I've never been, Oscar said, never been to London. And the second part, but my sister, third person, present perfect, my sister has lived there before has lived present perfect have or has plus the participle all right really good veronica lived as the participle i have never been excellent haven't okay 
All right, so how about number four? Is anyone ready to give us some help with number four or number five? I have never, I'm looking for mm -hmm. Has lived, excellent, okay. What do you think, Oscar, number four? Number four. I have past participle of do, done. I have done yoga before. Okay, or the contraction is absolutely perfect. I've done. Okay. I took a class when I was in the Caribbean. And that is moving from that present perfect, talking about the experiences of the lifetime, to past simple, a specific experience. Notice that we don't have the time stated. I took a class when I was in the Caribbean. When we talk about the time being finished, it doesn't mean that we actually have to say the time. We know that her, that this person's trip to the Caribbean, that that particular time is finished. So that satisfies that second requirement, the activity finished and the time finished. All right, have you ever done yoga? Good, Robbie, perfect question. All right, moving on to number five. Okay. Um, I can't believe you have never negative read. I can't believe you've never read The Divine Comedy. Excellent. I can't believe you've never read The Divine Comedy. Now, how about this last part? This last part, we've got that extra word that goes in the middle of our present perfect. Okay? So, right. I've, because our structure Subject have never read. Excellent, Titi. Thank you. Um, structure have subject have or has plus the participle. I've also written poetry. All right. As always, if you have any questions uh, or comments, please write them in the comment box and we'll be happy to respond and and include that in what we're what we're doing here so now we're going to play a game yay oh. <laughs> are you ready oscar i'm ready terry all right so would you please read for us how the game works okay two truths and a lie think of three things you have done Two are true and one is a lie. Your classmates can ask two past simple questions to find out which one you haven't done. Example, I've sung on stage and I've acted in a play and I've been scuba diving in Egypt. So two of these are true and one is a lie. All right, so when did you sing on stage? When I was 16, I sang in the musical La Miserable. <laughs> huh. And where did you go in Egypt? Mm. I went to Cairo. Uh, I think you've never been to Egypt. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Why? Well, because you couldn't, you didn't answer spontaneously. You stopped to think. So I think it wasn't um, the truth. Very good. Okay. Okay. Very good. So now I'm going to write three sentences. Two are true, one is a lie. I will answer any of your questions, but 
Just like the example, you can't say, you can't ask, did you sing on stage? Did you act in a play? The questions have to be different. When, where, okay? So, all right. My sentences are, I've written a book. I've never been to Iraq. I've lived on three different continents. So what kinds of questions can you ask? I've written a book. I've never been to Iraq. I've lived on three different continents. So, mm. Oscar, he, double bluffing. What is double bluffing? I know what bluffing is. What is double bluffing? Double Can bluffing you... is when you are pretending to pretend. <laughs> wow, that's difficult. All right, so we already have two questions. What's the name of Very the book? Good. We have three the... questions. Oh, okay. When did Not you four. write? Right? Yeah. All right, so which type of book have you written? Um, it's an autobiography. What's the name of the book? It's Army Values and Frat House Rules. And when did you write a book? I wrote a book in 2013. So what do you think? Mm. Is it true? Is it a lie? You were quite confident, quite quick there. So I could believe it. I think it might be true. Okay. So how about the other two sentences? I've okay. never been to Iraq. I've lived on three different continents. What questions can you ask? Oscar, do you have any questions? Hmm. You think it's true, Claudia? Very good. It is true. I did write a book. All right. Oh, so we're down, so we're down, down to Very two good. sentences. I've never been um, to Iraq and I've lived on three different continents. Which continents have you lived on? I've lived on the continent of North America, Europe, and Asia. Mm. You can't ask only, have you ever been to Iraq? You can't just ask, <laughs> sorry, Robbie, it doesn't quite work like that because I can't say no, yes. The game would end too fast. So what other <laughs> question? Seamus. It's, it's a good question. Shame so, the, Robbie, the question structure is perfect. But if I answer you, you know which one is true. So, or which one isn't true. Claudia says, do you want to go to Iraq? Do I want to now? That is a present simple question. No, thank you. I do not want to go to Iraq. Um, it's a very dangerous time to travel. Besides, the Italian government will not let me go there. Yeah. So, and number one, what? Seamus Can thinks, I ask a question? Of course, but Seamus thinks number one and two are not true. There's only one lie. <laughs> There's only one. No one knows what Seamus thinks. Nobody knows, Terry. Um, All right. right. What, you lived what, in America, Europe, and Asia. Yes. Where did you live in Asia? Oh, where did I live in Asia? In Asia, I lived in China. Mm, okay. In which European states have you been? 
I have been to France, Germany, Croatia, Italy, Spain, and England. Okay. okay. So that is a slightly different question, isn't it? It is. It is. I've But lived on three different continents. So maybe in which European state have you lived? Ah, good, good. No, 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 shit. Two are true. One <laughs> is a lie. Two true, one lie. So, all right. Because Robbie thinks only three is correct. Mm. And Seamus thinks only three is correct. So, Oscar already found out that number one is definitely true. Great question, Robbie. In which countries have you lived? Oh, very good. Very good question structure. Boy, in which countries have I lived? Well, I don't know. I have lived in many states in America. Um, I have lived in Italy. And I have lived in China. Mm, yeah, not sure about that. <laughs> Don't sound too certain. I, I am now, uh, Veronica, I am now in Italy. So, so what do you okay. think? Which one is not true? What do you think, Oscar? Uh, you were very quick to answer questions about the book. So I think you are an author. You have a book. This is true. Uh, I've never been to Iraq. I'm not sure about that one. I've lived on three different continents. Well, you did say states in America. And you did say Italy. But I'm not sure about China. You were quite I'm not too sure. Where in China, Terry? Okay. Where have you lived in China? But, but you have to remember the first time you asked, you asked what three continents? I said North America, Europe, and Asia. North mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. Europe, and Asia. Many states in North America. Italy in, in Europe and China in Asia. Hmm. Hmm. Claudia? Why did you live in China? Very good, Tiziana. Uh, um, Seamus, have you ever been a part of the American army that traveled to Iraq? Uh, uh no. <laughs> hmm, okay. I think it's number two. Wait, no, I think it's number three is incorrect. Three One is and correct. Two. Three is correct. Oh, sorry. I've never been to Iraq. Yeah. So, you have been to Iraq. So the second one is false. I never lived in China. I'm, I am having to create that to make you guess the wrong answer. But mm -hmm. I have been to Iraq, as Seamus said, I was part of the American army and I lived for a year in Iraq. I have lived on three different continents, not China, but Iraq in Asia. I have written a book, so number two mm -hmm. is not true. All right, so now, Oscar, you have two okay. truths. You have two truths and a lie to share with us, right? I do. Okay. All right. Uh, number one. So, as, as Oscar writes, so we will all continue to ask these present perfect questions or past simple questions, depending on what you need to ask. And Oscar does not have to respond with the truth. He can try to 
just like on the slide, when did you sing, oh, sorry, where did you go in Egypt? I went to Cairo. He can try to make us guess the wrong answer. All right. So, Oscar, when you are ready. Mm -hmm, maybe. And if you want to share the comment with us on the slide, that would be fabulous too. Okay. I will do. As soon so, as it loads. Okay. <laughs> Number one. I have never petted to pet. I have never petted. Oscar. Oscar, wait, can you hear me? Okay, I don't know if anyone can hear Oscar, but I can't. So, this is going to be really interesting. A little technical difficulty right in the middle Hello. of. There you are, you're back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. All Sorry. Right. So, number one, you... I have never <laughs> petted a crocodile. Number two, I have climbed a volcano. Number three, I have seen the northern lights from Svalbard. Okay. So. Some questions, all right. Um, while we're waiting for all of your questions, I have a question for Oscar. Where in the world is Svalbard? <laughs> Svalbard is in, well, it's not in Norway. It's an island north of Norway. So in the Arctic North, an island. Okay. Wow. All right, so I have a million questions. I'm waiting to see all of your questions. What kind of questions can we ask Oscar? Hmm. So first of all, crocodile. We have, in America, we have alligators. We don't have crocodiles. Crocodiles are oh, in Central and South America. Also, I think Africa. They need warm water. Okay, so Robbie asks, Robbie asks, have you ever seen a crocodile? Uh, yes, I have seen a crocodile. Okay, so I might follow up with, where did you see a crocodile? Um, I saw a crocodile in South America, because okay. that's where they live. Alligators oh. live in Florida, not crocodiles. Okay. Which I but know. Crocodiles also live in Africa and Central America. Ah, yes. I, I saw crocodiles in Costa Rica. Mm. All right. So Veronica asks Where did you climb a volcano? And by the way, she thinks it's true. So, where did you climb a volcano? I climbed a volcano in Colombia. Hmm, Colombia, South America, right there, northern. Okay, what other questions do you have? So my question, was the volcano active when you climbed it? <laughs> No, the volcano was not active, but there was like sulfur gas coming out of it. So, so it is active. Dormant. Oh, means okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dormant. <laughs> Dormant. I thought you meant like was it exploding? No. Oh, God, I should hope not. You wouldn't be here with us. <laughs> 
All right. So good questions, Robbie and Veronica. What other questions do we have from you out there? Um, okay. What did the Northern Lights look like? Can you describe that for us? Hmm. The Northern Lights were pale blue and pale green and were quite faint, not very strong. Okay, so more like moonlight than sunlight, perhaps. Okay. Um, hmm. What was the name of the volcano? Titi wants to know. Uh, what was the name of the volcano? <laughs> Let me try and remember. Um, uh, I cannot remember the name of the volcano. It was a long time ago. It was probably, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I cannot remember the name. It's true, I just can't remember, okay? It's true, it's true, I swear. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that number three is true. It's number one or number two. So. What did the crocodile, oh, you have never, ah, you have never petted a crocodile, the negative. I missed that. I have never petted a crocodile. Hmm. So, Veronica, th Veronica thinks number one is not true. She thinks you have she thinks you have pet a crocodile. Davide, though, thinks number two isn't true. So, how much time did you spend visiting the volcano? Remember, Roby, time is not countable, so we need much. How much time did you spend visiting the volcano? Um, it was quite quick. It was only a, a small volcano, so <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe just an hour, just an hour visiting the volcano, the small, I, small volcano. I think, I think I agree with Davide and Titi. I think number two is a lie. You have never climbed a volcano. Uh, it's correct. Number two is a lie. I have never climbed a volcano. All right. All right, really great. Thank I you did, for all of I the did. questions. Yeah. Tell me, you have what? No, no, go on, don't worry. No, no, please. I'd say I, I did pet a crocodile in Bolivia, in the Amazon. Why? Just because it's an experience, Terry. <laughs> was it, was it, in a river? Was it someone's pet? Uh, it was sort of a small one swimming by the boat, small crocodile. So I just quickly gave it a little pet. It's very small, like a baby crocodile. Yeah, but they still have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, I, st I, got, I got all my fingers. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. So, but what an experience. I have never pet a crocodile. All right, how about all of you? What have you done? So in our last five minutes together, we're going to look at some questions and Oscar and I will give you some more examples of how to use this structure. So Oscar, apart from petting a crocodile, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Hmm. Good question. The craziest thing I have ever done is quit my job and move to South America. When did you do that? 
I quit my job two years ago and traveled in South America. And how long were you in South America? I was in South America for one year. Wow. Amazing. Terry, have you, have you ever done something romantic? What was it? <sighs> yes, I have done something romantic. Um, last year for Valentine's Day, I planned everything ahead. I had to work very late and my boyfriend finished at six o'clock. So I went to the place where he gets his haircut and I paid for a haircut and I left a little oh, note, nice. Bigliettino, a note. And then that note told him, it didn't tell him, it gave him an idea where he needed to go next. And that was a store where he had seen a shirt. So I bought a shirt that he liked. And in the shirt pocket was another note. And so he had a little treasure hunt. Um, Very good. Wow. For, for Valentine's Day. Davide says, I've walked from Milan to now. Davide. All right. Thank you. I've walked from Milan to Florence last summer so you're combining two different elements this is a really important point so that present perfect is not time specific so if i said i've walked from milan to florence end of sentence i'm talking about a particular experience if i add last summer last summer is completely finished and so that requires that we use the present, excuse me, the past simple. Action finished and time finished. So it becomes, I walked from Milan to Florence last summer. Without last summer, you can use the present perfect. Okay, good. So, Oscar, have you ever bought something and immediately regretted your impulse buy? <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty good. Uh, pretty good with uh, impulse buying. I, I usually do think. Uh, Terry, have you ever been bungee jumping? I have not been bungee jumping. I have never been bungee jumping because at a fair one summer, they had bungee jumping. And while I was waiting in line, in the queue, as you British people say it, yeah. one of the bungees snapped and the person fell. No, really? Yes. Yes. So I have never been bungee jumping. Was the I person have. okay? They didn't die, but they, they, they broke some bones. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm not surprised you haven't done it then. No, not for okay. me. Okay. Right. Have, so lovely. Present. Yeah. I have, however, been skydiving and scuba diving. Very good. Yeah. Me How too. about you? Have you ever been bungee jumping, skydiving, or scuba diving? I haven't been bungee jumping either, but I've been uh, sc scuba diving and skydiving too. Excellent. All right. So, everybody, in our last minute together, I just want to um, remind everybody that present perfect, never double negative, not haven't, never, but sh Oscar? haven't ever exactly have never haven't ever um present perfect is our link between past to the present moment so we use it to talk about past events past experiences but then when we include a specific time or a reference to a time when i was young 
isn't giving us the year, but it's telling us that it's a time past and finished. We have to go to that past simple. All right, so that's all the time that Oscar and I have for today. Um, thank you so much for joining us and um, tune in again. Oscar, I'm going to let you close out today. I just want to tell everybody stay safe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if you want to practice, do some present perfect questions. Um, go ahead. All right, have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Well done. Bye. All right. Thanks, everyone.